We have just finished filming all the free video tutorials on the Husqvarna Viking Brilliance 75Q. So if you want to learn this machine from start to finish, the, there is a link to the complete playlist in the order that it's best to watch it in in the description. Now normally at this time is when I'll take a few minutes to go over like the top five features of the machine. But this time I think I'm going to do something a little different and it's going to be the top things every Brilliant 75Q owner needs to know. So in other words, the questions I always get asked and we'll put links to these individual videos up in this corner as we go so you can go right to it and learn a little bit more. So in no particular order but kind of in the one that I always get asked is how do I jump around to different stitches? So you turn the machine on and you've got a straight stitch and you can see 12 stitches. So what we have here is a quick easy way if you either touch and hold the tab at the top with the little arrow in the bottom right corner that indicates that if you touch and hold you get something else that you can actually then touch your menu buttons and actually get all the different pages. But allowing you to jump down to like menu F. And then if you touch it, you notice there's all these bubbles here. And as you touch, that means that there's that many pages in menu F. Now, there is other ways to get around your machine, like using the little arrows here, which is forever to get to menu F, because you have to go through all the pages of A through, yes, D. Um, you can also go to the orange tab here and touch the zigzag. That will also bring up this menu where you can jump around and, for example, keep scrolling. You will find there's tons and tons of stitches. Now, we do talk about stitching out a stitch book because these stitches look 10 times better stitched out. So that's another thing that we'll have a link below if you are curious how to sew a stitch book. Now, another thing that we really recommend our new Brilliant 75Q owners to utilize is the question mark. And what this is, is kind of like your little mini manual on board. So for example, if you touch the question mark and touch a stitch, it will give you a definition of that stitch. If it's a utility stitch, so let's just go back to maybe one of those first groupings here. So let's you could say you touch the question mark and you're like, what in the world is stitch 11? Well, that stitch is defined as a flat lock stitch. And where are you going to use it? You're going to use it for decorative hems and overlap seams, belts and bands, and also good for medium to heavy stretchy fabrics. So at any given time, if you don't even know what it's called, or maybe you're in this area and you're like, well, what's that symbol? Well, touch the question mark touch it and then you'll learn that it is a stitch restart. Touch to begin sewing at the beginning of a stitch or stitch program and I've used this when I've started a decorative stitch and then realize oh that wasn't where I wanted to start maybe I need to kind of start again. I can just touch that stitch and instead of starting where I left off I'm back at the beginning of the stitch and not like halfway through it. So the question mark becomes a best friend. So definitely know to utilize that when you don't even know what it's called to look it up in the manual. So the manual does have information that's helpful if you watch these videos videos, all of them, and do all of the exercises I'm doing, you're going to learn this machine inside and out. Okay, here's another thing that I think every Brilliant 75Q owner should know. When you look at the stitch on your screen, it is actual size. So for example, if you were to make it on this one narrower, you would see that that is actually going to be the size you get. And so for some of us who are very visual learners, by actually seeing, oh, okay, I can make it longer or I can make it shorter, I can see without even having to sew it, the size it's going to turn out. Now, if you don't believe me, just go ahead, sew that stitch out, hold it up to screen, and you're going to realize that they are two identical matching stitches in size. So I love, love that feature. The sewing advisor right along here, being able to tell the machine, hey, I'm going to work on a woven light fabric, and the second row here is techniques, and I would like to do a buttonhole. So it is going to take you to the buttonhole or the stitch uh, for that technique that is ideal for that fabric weight. Now, these symbols are all defined right here. So if you're like, okay, well, what's E? 
E is a stretch medium fabric. G is leather or vinyl. And if I'm still on buttonhole, and so it recommends a very simple buttonhole, which is true. So it's like having your own little sewing person, little sewing helper right there inside your machine. If you tell it you're working on some denim and you're working on a, a seam, it's actually gonna lengthen the stitch length for you. If you're working on something stretchy, it's actually gonna adjust the pressure of the foot so it doesn't stretch out. So anytime that you are wondering or using some different fabrics than what you are knowledgeable about, use the sewing advisor and let the machine guide you and take you to the right stitch with the exact settings and the exact pressure change that are needed. Look, it even tells you which needle you should be using, which I absolutely think is great. Now do keep in mind if you are not really wanting to be on one of these other fabric settings, your default fabric, and you actually need to pick it yourself, is B, woven medium. And if you want to pick a technique, just touch number one, which is a seam, and it'll get you back to the middle sizes. Keep it in mind when you turn the machine off, I think that actually remembers your last fabric choice. So that's why I always tell people, just make sure you put it back on kind of a nice middle of the road fabric, and then everything will be uh, properly set up when you're not using this all the time. And here's just one more thing. I know when we talk about sewing and we have the wonderful thread cutter that we can touch, that if you just touch it when you st are stopped, well, it just cuts your thread, which is great and everybody loves that, ta-da. But one thing that you can do is if you actually find some of these buttons act differently when you touch them while you're sewing. So right now I'm sewing, then touching. It goes a little bit more, does a couple locking stitches, then cuts the thread. So learning some of these little extra bonus things that happen when you use a function that's right at your fingertips or using a function on screen, that those then become much easier to incorporate and make your sewing just so much more enjoyable. So I hope that you'll take the time to work through the videos little at a time, maybe taking the time to do a stitch book, which is stitching out all your decorative stitches, something that every student of mine has always said, they are so thankful that they have taken the time to do it. And I'm gonna tell you something, even if you only get half the stitches stitched, even a quarter of them, cause there's a lot, I know, um, you're gonna find yourself so much more knowledgeable about this machine. Now, it's always fun to kind of complete it and have them all stitched out, but just even a partial, it's the time at machine, the repetition of doing the same thing over and over, but with a different stitch. It's so, so rewarding. Now we do have our Stitching Cosmos online course. That's gonna take you even further into utilizing all the features of your machine, including some accessories. And we, speaking of accessories, we do have a link to a digital foot book that has descriptions, not just this foot does this and this foot does this, but it's for all the feet and it also includes techniques and settings. So it's more than just like a catalog that Viking puts out. So check out our digital flipbook. That's gonna be a great way to uh, learn more about accessories available for this machine. And there are two pages that you can download for free. And it's actually pictures of all the feet, which is what most people use. And they'll highlight like the ones they might want in the future, or maybe even check off the ones that they have already purchased. So there are some free pages you can download, knowing that there is an entire book that you can get and it is a little cheaper buying it digitally and then that way you can print off the pages that you need as you go. So I hope these videos have been helpful. We have the complete playlist here at the end or in the description below. And if you have enjoyed any of these videos, make sure that you are clicking like on all of them. That's that little thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can continue to bring you more free content in the future. Happy sewing everyone.